Hi everybody, welcome to the Healing Guide TV. I'm Carol Serby. Today I wanted to talk to you about feather smudge wands. I wanted to talk to you about who uses them, what they are, why, where, when, <laughs> and how to cleanse and clear them. Who uses a feather smudge wand? Everybody can use a feather smudge wand. Professional healers usually have a couple of different feather wands in their workspace. Each wand may be particular to a specific um, issue or healing modality. This one here, as an example, is actually the one that I personally use in my workshop space. It has all the stones of the chakras, as well as the colors in the feathers. Okay, so I use this in a chakra clearing. It's a good way to help move energy that's no longer serving the client. Smudge wands are tools. I use it when I'm cleansing and clearing a body. You could also use it to move smudge smoke to cleanse and clear a room, an object, or a person. You can use them anywhere. You can have one in, actually I know several people that carry one in their purse with them at all times. So you can smudge absolutely anywhere. You can use a feather smudge wand absolutely in, anywhere. People like to use the wands for a couple of different reasons. Now, if you're using it as energy work, the feathers represent the angels. The feathers represent a module which collects and gathers that which no longer serves you. Now, along with that, line of thinking. It's also the actual element of each feather. So if you have a goose or an owl or a hawk or an eagle or um, a duck, those animal elements are also working within the wand to assist you in the healing work. Same thing for, smud for smudging. Those elements also work within the wand to grasp on to those energies from smudging that no longer serve and help to move it along. Okay? Um, lots of wands have several elements. This one has the feathers, it has a firm, it has the chakra stones, and it has a wood handle. Now, when you're using a chakra wand or a smudge wand or an individual, here's a here's an example of a wand that I would use um, pretty much specifically for uh, sacral chakra work. Okay, we have other ones here that can be used for. I would use this one here for smudging or for grounding work. Okay, because of the elements in it. So you can see that each wand has their own elements. So you need to look and choose carefully. Okay. Um, when you receive a wand, or when you get your first wand, or even if you have several wands, you need to cleanse and clear. So just as we've, you know, smudged to remove negative energies, or you've done chakra clearing uh, to remove negative energies, the wand will also hold some of those negative energies, okay? So what we need to do is, with intention, we need to clear the wand. Because we don't want any of those energies holding on and moving forward to affect our next client. If you're an existing healing practitioner and you have your own clearing technique, by all means, please go with that, okay? If you're new at using wands, you can use energy work, okay? So you can lay it on your table and you can actually run energy 
or for those Reiki workers, you can do chakra ray, okay, something like that. Um, you can set it in the sun or in the moon. I know a lot of people like to cleanse and clear their crystals either in the sunlight or in the moonlight, uh, specifically at a full moon. Um, you can use salt, but I would be careful with salt. I wouldn't want to totally immerse it in salt. I would maybe put some salt on, uh, like in a shallow pan, like a baking sheet or something, just a little bit, and set this on top. Again, it's just about intention. So if you place the one on top of the sand or on top of the salt in a shallow pan and just, you know, with intention, give your prayer of clearing and cleansing. And that's another way too, is just with prayer. You can hold it close to you. You feel the energy of the wand and once you start to feel the energy, you can say a little prayer. Um, you can also use pyramid power if you believe in pyramid power or um, because you can use it as a smudge wand as well, you can actually use smudge and smudge underneath it and allow the smoke to come up to cleanse and clear the wand. So I think that's about it. I think I've covered some of the basics. Um, use your imagination. Use what feels right. Don't force anything. And remember that the intention is the biggest thing. So have fun with your wands. Try using them for different modalities. Um, if you have a wand, you know, why not use it for energy work, for healing work, for cleansing and clearing of spaces, for smudging. Um, use it use it for everything. Why not? If you have it, have fun with it. Anyways, thank you for joining me here today. I'm Carol Serby with the Healing Guide TV. Good night.